Howdy guys, appreciate you joining me again. Uh, in this episode, I'm just going to, I'm running as a, uh, as a protection warrior. Uh, my buddy just uh, wanted to try out a, a priest, well, a disc priest to be specific. Uh, he's never really healed so much. I mean, he's not only healed like maybe once or twice in his entire wild playing time. So he's not very good at it. So this is kind of a learning curve for him. So uh, what I end up doing here is uh, as we go through this, uh, go through this dungeon, we're in Wailing Caverns, by the way, uh, is uh, he gets to see that uh, direct heals and not using the correct spells literally almost makes us wipe and we shouldn't nobody should be wiping at this point I mean we're we both got uh, plenty of BOA gear the heirloom gear so I mean I can take a decent amount of uh, damage and I just don't go I just try not to go too crazy with it but as you can see I mean I'm already hurting I have we have really done much at this point you know you can tell he's already struggling to keep me up you know like he shields me and then he's usually right now he's just trying to keep me healed using flash heal He's not really damaging anything. He's just flash healing me. And uh, Disc Priest, a lot of their bread, their bread and butter is coming from the Atonement buff. When you get for shielding, as well as later on, they'll get a, another uh, another spell. I forget what the name of it off the top of my head. That puts Atonement on, every, on you. So, in doing so, He's got to work extremely hard just to keep me alive, which it shouldn't be happening. You can see I'm already getting taken down. One good shot, I'm almost dead. Now, he does manage to keep me going. I mean, he's trying to keep dots on. He's shielding me as fast as he can. He's healing me as fast as he can. And uh, my uh, my shield slam has a uh, increased damage on it. And that's helping me to get through these guys we don't really have for some reason our uh our dps uh really wasn't there the monk was almost non-existent this entire fight i don't know what he was doing you know here we are it's like we've almost got her dead and it's like he's barely keeping me alive we can get her down and then we're okay but that monk is i don't know what he's doing I mean, he was only put to sleep one time. And you notice he ended up dying right there at the end. So now that we've got her dead. Yeah, he was taking unnecessary damage. So we managed to live. I'll let him heal that up. I should be asking him here about his uh, rotation, what he's using. Yeah, I literally just gave up on him. <laughs> yeah. The minute you give up on him, you really keep me up. So. I don't know why you keep And you drop Pally also, that's the thing. That was actually the monk that died, not the pally. See, so, yeah, I take a lot of damage. I'm just not getting a lot. He's the heal. He's fighting a hard time with the heals. Yeah. 
like what he what he what he's failing to realize is that he has penance and he's not using it and so he's relying on just flash heals at this point which flash heals are not your primary heal as a, a disc priest it's like you need a lot of haste to be able to make flash heal viable and at this level it's it's only viable for uh low damage fights so if i'm not taking a lot of damage you just kind of throw a flash heal on me once in a while but but even then if i'm shielded and i've got my the atonement any any damage that he does using shadow or pain or penance or smite is going to out heal the flash heal you know watch here we go again take i take a decent amount of damage here there's the hey, look at that see my health is just bouncing because he's relying on the flash heal He just realized the monk. It was the monk. <laughs> yeah, I don't have very many, very many abilities at this point. So, really, it just comes to shield slam, and then. Uh, shoot, I forget which one name of that was. And then and a thunderclap, and then the filler is my five, is number five. And then if I get the kill, obviously I'm going to use uh, Victory Rush. This would have been easier if, it, if I was a pally, just because uh, the shield, uh, Avengers shield, is just so good. Now, you don't get the silence until later on it, so it's not as good as it would, would, would be later. That silence makes a world of difference on that Avenger shield. But as you can see, Warriors, I mean, as it is, they're pretty solid. Boom, boom, Thunderclap, get that, get that aggro. A few more hits, switch, Thunderclap again. Yeah, another rough fight. Is he still relying on the on the uh, flash heels? We're doing everything we can to get rid of one of them. Once we get rid of one, it makes it easier, and we're able to get through it. But it's rough until until we can get that one. So I've got these two. We're doing damage while the other the mage is focusing that one, which is good. That mage put put ended up putting out quite a bit of DPS. But the monk just I don't think he understands how to play play his character. You can see the entire time he's not just not putting out any damage. I think this was the point that uh we start talking about it. Let me, let me turn that up a little bit so we can hear it. See, look at that. That mage is just going to town with them magic missiles. That's why I love freaking arcane mages. That's when I play the mage, that's usually what I prefer to play.
trying to not go too fast. What do you what? What? try not to go too fast? What Here we go. Rotation? Oh, I only have two. Uh, I got shield and uh, flash shield. That's it. You don't have fence yet? You should have that. That is your bread. Oh, uh, Prentice. Prentice. What's that? Prentice is your bread and butter. Yeah, I forgot to hit that one. That's why you're struggling. Well, I ain't struggling. Uh, I'm, you sh I'm I should. To keep everybody up. No. Shield everybody else, but you heal me. You shield everybody and then you attack, and you're going to be able to keep everybody up pretty good. And there and that and you can see now at this point he realizes okay now I've told me shield everybody start doing damage now here comes his, here comes the heals from his from the me being the having the atonement that time yeah easier He'll 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 realize it on this but next boss fight. Well, I can also heal you with it too. Well, yeah, it does that more direct healing, but you do a good amount of damage with that healing on the atonements because your whole as disc your 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 bread and butter is atonement. You can shield everybody, get atonement on them. So that way, no matter what damage you do, you're healing. So if you're stacking shadow work painting. And then attacking with penance, and everybody's got the atonement, they're getting the heal. Watch. So he's got everybody, he starts shielding everybody at this point, and notice, and so notice that. Everybody real quick, and then start attacking. Notice that my heels hardly move this entire fight, my health bar. There's the shield again. He's att he's attacking now. Look how much easier that went the minute he the minute he did the proper rotation. That rotation. Oh, I'm not even, I'm not even calling it a rotation. <laughs> uh, it's just shield, 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 die, and it's. <laughs> Yep. <clears throat> yeah. It makes a little it, it's freaking stupid good at healing, but there's a s there's a level. I can't pull too many groups because then you can't do enough damage or healing direct healing to account for it all. I mean Sean found that out when we were running Black Phantom. He pulled three group threats before the second to last boss and it's like I can't quite heal everybody fast enough. And then I died, even though I managed to keep everybody up. Oh shit, I got one on me. Add one on me. So from this point out, you're going to notice that healing is not a problem from this for him now. Now that he's now he understands what's happening with the shielding, and then you. Do you start attacking the mob shadow word pain on any all mobs in that are there and then you're just gonna pen at something and then you're refreshing shields you're refreshing shields attack refreshing shield later on what you end up having to do is if there is a if your tank is taking way too much is taking too much damage for you to keep them up in that ass in that that type of rotation direct heal penance and then uh, flash heal in between to keep him till penance is back up. And then uh, if you can, you're going to smite and speed it along. Keep that, keep that shield up. You keep your dots on. Get that supplemental uh, secondary healing going while you're direct healing. It's, you know, most of your, most of your stuff is uh, your, your strength is because of your shield and atonement. And so... You're 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 not gonna you're not going to ever be top heels, 
because you're not doing you're not doing a ton of direct healing. But I like I have like in in Legion I have a I had a a, a disc priest who was what I level nine thirty four at that point, and I went into see the Pantheon and I was number four healer, and that's with mainly relying on atonements and attacking the attacking the boss. So, you know, I rarely had actually do a direct heal unless I saw somebody that was about to die and get a shield on them. I've got my 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 supplemental healing going uh, through Shadow Word Pain on some on a, on one of the, on a boss, and then I'm direct healing him penis to bring him back up, and then going back to it. So, you know, you're like you're you're a great dungeon run healer. And you're a supplemental raid healer. You know, you know, you're you're just you're keeping you know people around you topped off. You're keeping everybody you know at a decent level. You know, but when there's a ton of damage output to everybody, you you can tend to pick up your heals. And but I mean, there's others that do it better. So you're you're not you're typically not the go-to healer as far as raids go, unless you're specifically doing tank tank uh tank healing so just keep that in mind when you're running the disc priest i know in my previous video about the disc priest that i was talking about i talked about uh you know the heal the heals and whatnot you saw that i do fairly well with it yeah and it's just i you know disc priest isn't isn't uh the preferred obviously you know, but out of all the priests, it's like I I, uh, I like the, that one because it's a hybrid. I, a lot of the a lot of the characters I play tend to be a hybrid of some sort. You know, I don't mind playing the straight melees like the warrior or the warrior and the mage and the hunter. But you know, if there if and I typically would prefer to play a class that can fill multiple roles. So like the Druid, I can go between healing and, D and spell DPS, tank DPS, or tanking, and then melee DPS. Uh, you've also got the Shaman where you can go melee DPS, you have spell DPS, and you have healing. Uh, you've got the, uh, you know, I, I don't do well in the Monk, I haven't figured it out yet, but that's fine. Like, but then you have the, the, the Priest, the Disc Priest, they literally are hybrid they heal while they're dpsing so they literally do both they're not they're not fantastic at either one but they're good at both at the same time and that's why they're viable because they give you a little extra dps while giving while keeping those decent heals going so if you take them along with you know along with another healer like my, my, my friends and i did we were running mythics with my friend being the uh, being a holy priest. I have my disc priest. We had two warlocks, and then we had a, a warrior tank, and we we didn't have a problem running through stuff. No, we didn't. No, we weren't able to do speed runs, but nobody died. I mean, it was. I mean, the only time we if if we came close is because we somehow managed to pull like twenty mobs. And even then, we were able to just heal through it all. So, but yeah, I mean, I, I if you haven't noticed, I typically play play a class that's very that's very versatile. You know, with that hybrid in there. You know, I have a I, I you know if I'm gonna tank, I, I prefer tanking on pallies because, you know, they great do great damage. They're really good tanks. You know, they're not they're not the the meta preferred for mythics. But they can also do really good heals. You know, and at one point, <laughs> the Rep Pally was really good on DPS, but that hasn't happened since uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, supposedly, in Battle for Azeroth, they're, they're bumping them up to make them more viable again, but I, mean, I, I don't see that happening. I've seen some people playing them, and they just they, they lag behind really badly. Now this this pally, he's probably the one that I've seen be able to keep up and even you know lead in some cases. But 
you notice his his DPS is you know just below the the mage, but everybody at this point should be doing pretty good DPS. I'm the tank. I'm still doing okay on DPS. That monk should be doing a ton more DPS. And if you haven't noticed, again, my heels, uh, you know, he's been solid from from that moment that we talked about it, uh, and I got him to start using the uh, uh, penance. Heels have been on point. I haven't had a problem. It, it, <laughs> doing the right rotation, using the right spells, can't you know? You should not. You should not have a problem healing and. You know, he was always iffy about the healing because he's, he hadn't done it and he's, he always thought he wasn't any good at it. He just, well, he wasn't any good because he wasn't using the right spells at the right time. Like, here we're just trying to get rid of at least one of these, uh, these ads before we go after Serpentis. Trying to pull that Druid back over here a little further, but at that point I was like, okay, we're good now. We'll screw him. We're going in. Well, he's a focused me, so they're gonna go after him at this point. Uh, that mage just rips him apart. Yeah, that paladin got a boot got a boost because he was went after the druid before everybody started laying in. You notice how quickly we're catching up to him? That mage has almost caught him already. And I'm creeping up on him pretty quick. You noted, notice how my friend now has all of everybody shielded. So all that damage he's putting out, everybody's being topped off. Nobody's taking hardly any damage. It's exactly what you want to be have happening with that with that disc priest. See, look at that. That may just rip right past the, uh, the paladin. Get him turned around. Excuse me. Matt, he wasn't paying attention. He finally put shield in me. <laughs> Yeah, now that he's got his shielding down correctly, uh, I could potentially, I could potentially uh, tank in Arms or Fury, uh, but I want to make sure that he, you know, I want to make sure I maintain control of everything so I don't bother. I, I don't, I want to stay pro at that point. I don't want to have to. I do. You can fight for aggro, but I do more aggro as pro, obviously. Yeah, we were trying to get to twenty, so you can see that that run. We started that run, you know, part way into eighteen, and here we are already through nineteen, already into nineteen.
back in the like even now, but back in the day, back in the day, freaking uh, Wailing Caverns was hard. I mean, absolutely hard. You know, you couldn't pull more than a couple, you know, a few mobs at a time. I mean, now you can pull three, four, five, you know, six, depending on how good everybody's stuff is. But, oh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. It was, it was hard, and then it was easy. And with the switch back for them to go to the scaling zones, that has brought it back to a, a little harder i don't say it's it's not hard but you can't just go ripping through it like you used to you know originally it was difficult i mean just getting down here was difficult before the insta queues and you had to go actually run the dungeon and then that, when they started doing the the uh heirlooms and you get in you know you just queue up and then nothing was scaling you know there were points where you could be in here at 22 and you can pull like 10 things and not think twice about it as a tank now with the scaling, you can't do that anymore. This, and you can see I've only been pulling, you know, three, maybe four things at a time and almost dying. You know, even with, with him doing a proper rotation, it's hard. So I like, you know, to me, the, the changing everything so that it scales was probably the best thing that they could have did for this game to, to make it fun, make it hard again because BOAs before, you know, leveling with BOAs before they did the scaling, you just run through everything and then just jump right back in. Didn't think twice about it because it was so easy. You know, it's now it's okay. Everything's your proper level. It's not overly difficult, but you still have to be careful because you can and will die if you just if you try to do too much. So it's back more of a real a realistic uh scale as far as level and uh, running the dungeon so you can see here this is how, this is what most people try and you know forget to do. It's like you grab a couple, you let them fight one, you grab another one, and it's kind of, it's just like a you know you're kind of leapfrogging mobs, chain pulling. You know, it's not overly. You're not trying to pull too much like a lot of people try to do, but you're you're moving at a at a at a regular pace at a nice little rate. You know. You know, so many times I see people sitting there trying to pull, run through and grab like six mobs and then get mad when the healer can't keep up. It's like, why are you in such a rush? Grab one, two, maybe three, let them kill one or two. You pull another one and you just keep moving forward. Don't be in a rush to get through it. You're going to get through it. And when you take too much, when you go after too much in one shot, you're actually going to make it slower because when people die, now you have to res them. It's like, take your time. It's like, you don't have to rush it, but you can move at a, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you've got at least one to two mobs that your DPS are fighting almost the entire way through, you know, you've got a consistent solid pull when you're constantly having to run from group to group and then stop and fight. I don't know why he pulled that. It was unnecessary. Uh, when you're, when you're having to constantly stop and pull and then you have somebody die because the key that can't keep up, people get frustrated and then they start blaming up everybody else to get toxic. That's not what you want. You want steady pulls, steady, steady, steady. That's the fastest way you get through it. One, two, let people, let them fight. You maintain an aggro. Walk up, grab the next one as one is about to die. So that way you have one to two all to, at all times as much as, much as possible. <laughs> and uh, that's basically how you know me and my friends play. You know, play. You know, uh, earlier in the evening we were talking about that, and me and my friend decided to run up to paladins. We both went pr uh, protection paladins. So. 
he one of us would tank up what queue up as a tank the other one would queue up as a dps and we would literally leapfrog each other he'd run in grab a group of about three or four the dps and healer would come up to him start killing them i'd run up to the next group of about three or four start grab them and as i did that the first the previous group was almost dead so the healer would come up to me and start healing me then the dps would come up start killing them my friend would run up grab the next group so we were literally leapfrogging each other and the group was would just run up to the to the next group kill them run up to the next group because they didn't have to worry about taking aggro from us we already had enough aggro because by the time they got to that group we had already been fighting them for a good 10 15 seconds so they weren't taking aggro there was just no way and we literally can steamroll a dungeon in about 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes like that so if we like if our if we have a third friend in a group that's running heals it's over i mean we're literally just all right this is how we're running it and we just do it and it works great you know and a lot of people forget that this is not a speed it's not about speed run it's about being it's about if you can be steady and be consistent you know you 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 live you you pull and you run right not at that cap mark of being able to barely handle everything just a step back from that so it's not too overwhelming for each guy or each character then the healer can keep keep you guys healed steps forward heals one can turn around to heal the other you're not killing you're not mana draining their mana they can keep pace with you you guys can keep moving forward at a decent pace the dps just keeps tearing through stuff and just makes it so much fun and quick you know unfortunately too many people get in a hurry or they they think that it's somebody else's fault when you know something goes wrong rather than think there and then saying hey what could i have done to make this a little easier on everybody so that we don't keep dying or overwhelming everybody you know boom there we go level 20. that was one run one run through wailing caverns and that was two levels it took us a half hour to get through that entire run because of how big this place is. Absolutely huge. But two levels in 30 minutes, so it's that's you know 15 minutes a level. I'll take it every time. All right, guys, appreciate you watching as always. Love you guys. I can't say it enough. Don't, don't be afraid uh, to uh, hit that follow if you have not hit that follow button subscribe uh, if you're on for twitch if you're you know, with YouTube please hit that subscribe button and, and follow me I always appreciate you all you guys have a great weekend and a great evening and we'll see you next time peace